So today we have got Saiba with us and uh, she's a part of Jobaj Learning community as well. And she got placed as a marketing data analyst come advertisement data analyst in Vipro and working for multiple clients. So Saiba, we would like to uh, know about your educational background and what kind of skill sets you possess right now. Okay, so Raksha sir, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Like you're giving me this opportunity that I am going to represent Jobaj Learning that have actually given me a platform so that I'm standing right now. So would like to introduce myself. My name is Sahiba. Okay, my name is Sahiba Siraj. Basically, I am from Uttar Pradesh, Kanpur. I started my journey in 2013 uh, when I was pursuing my BCom. That's why the like that time, uh, like after completed my BCom, I went to possess my uh, like mass communication, and while uh, possessing uh, while pursuing my mass communication, I was working with the square yards. And after working with the square yards, due to lo like COVID, I left my job. And after that, I was looking for something new, for new opportunity. Then I started working with uh, Baiju's. And from 2020 to 2023, I worked with Baiju's. And after that, I wanted to like uh, I was into sales, so I was I decided to switch my uh, like uh, switch my journey from one place to another. So I thought that like the uh, uh, what like the experience I was carrying was of sales, so that I can utilize that. Then I got to know about uh, like job was learning. Then I pursued my data analytics course, and after that, I have uh, like prepared for almost four, four, five months, and after that, I got selected. To the oh. current company so that's great so what kind of uh, skills you uh, possess right now and what kind of skills you learned during your journey of learning analytics uh, the best thing that I learned about, uh, like, it's about data handling. That's the first thing. It was mastery in Excel. That was the best thing that I got. I got to know that, uh, like, if you know Excel, like, nicely, uh, uh, like Power BI, and uh, if you know Excel nicely, then it is like, uh, and the communication skills. So, like, the the thing that you are learning, and you have to, uh, whatever you are learning, you have to tell other people the same thing. The communication thing that is going to play the important role. What I got to know till now. Yeah, that's that's right. I mean, Excel is something that a lot of people tell me as well that it's very important that you should learn. So right now in the project that you're working upon, so what kind of tools you use in your projects right now? See, the main, th the first thing that we are using is Excel. Excel, we are using too much. Okay, for data, like uh, handling and like when we have to take out and we have to, when we are giving the presentation to the client, okay, what they want. So we have to, the client want to know in a very simplified manner. So we are using Power BI to, and we are using graph so much. This, okay. we, I feel, I got to know that whatever the client, the insight, if you have to tell that, so you have to use that uh, graphs and pictures via, uh, like you can handle the data via Excel and you can give the presentation via Power BI. Okay. So Excel and Power BI are the like important tools that you are using right now, right? Okay. So if, uh, what hmm. kind of interview uh, you had with Wipro, how many rounds you had, what kind of questions they asked to you in your interview, if you would like to ask, answer that. So to be very honest, total eight rounds they have taken. Okay. And after eight rounds, they have taken the exam as well. Like when we got entry into that, they have they have taken almost five exams that you have to clear. Once you are going to clear one exam, uh, like after interview, they have taken five exams. So if one exam, if you're going to clear, then only you're going to get into second one. For every exam, they're giving you three, uh, three options, like three times. Uh, if you're not able to clear in three times, then you are out. It does not matter which uh, like uh, point into. If you are in the four points and four level, you are on two. If you're not able to clear fourth round, then you are going to be get out okay so for every point they are going to give me the three round yes. okay and uh, so what kind of questions were there in those rounds uh, or if in your one to one interview sessions with your interviewer first they first round which i was having uh, like they have asked about uh, they were giving uh, the right the, at the same time they were uh, giving me the data and they were asking me what we can do with this data same time uh, uh, sometime what they are used to ask they used to ask me ki if you are having uh, descriptive data okay so what are the tools that you are going to use it for example why, like for ex uh, the client is the client is not okay with that uh, line chart okay then what are the other tools that you can use it and the uh, other option they have given me ki they were giving me the situation for example the client have joined from us okay and the client have joined from china so they mo they will be having different mindset so what are the different tools that you are going to give you for the same project what are the different tools that you are going to use it so that you can make both the client understand in a different manner 
because they both have different mindset so you should have like clarity depth clarity if you will be having and if you will be having what i got to know that if you will be having the interest okay then it will be easy and if you are going to mug up the things it's not going to work out mm, that is right okay that is right so uh, however what kind of recommendations you have for example for a future analytics terms aspirant if they want to get into analytics domain what kind of recommendation tools technologies or roadmap you would like uh, them to follow in brief if anyone want me to follow that i i'm going to tell you like this uh, uh, like this domain is very big okay if you wanted to pursue data analytics course you will go into the market and you will see that if people are demanding 1 lakh 1 lakh 40000 1 lakh 80000 but actually it's not worth it it's actually not worth it to be honest if you really if does not, nobody is going to ask you how much amount actually you have invested into okay yeah. it's all about how much basic knowledge you are carrying with yourself that is the thing and i feel like it does not matter where you have learned from if you have basic knowledge you can you can easily crack the interview and you can easily nobody is going to ask that you have invested 2 lakh or you have invested only 10000 or 15000 so what i got to know that like it's not about that i have prepared for job la, job as learning or they have given me something they have a very like uh, they have a very uh, like a uh, uh, small amount or they are charging very small amount and they are giving a very big knowledge okay and that is going to help you in future what i got to know that that if you are going to invest less amount and you are going to get the big knowledge that is worth it investing less and getting more return roi is more yeah that so is right so i would like to suggest i like to the aspirant who wanted to pursue data analytics all i wanted to say invest less and get more roi that is important okay okay that is good and what kind of uh, tools they should focus upon like two top two three tools i think excellent power bi is something that you would recommend them to start with right uh so uh, if i if you ask me uh, it's about uh, you should start with the basic theory that is there na theory yeah. in job as learning it's very it's in a very simplified manner they have told it if you are going to understand the theory part first you will understand ki why we should learn it what is the things that we are going to read it what is the meaning of that first you should understand that thing second thing is that once you are going to understand that point and when you are going to uh, like uh, going to do in the practical things now everything is interrelated if you will uh, if i'll say ki nahi nahi so, like uh, excel is important i will say ki nahi sql is not important depend upon the client requirement you must know everything Hmm, okay everything is important depend yeah. upon clients client will ask a number of things if you are aware you can you can simplify the things and you can get it presented got it got it all right so i think these are um, these are very good guidelines and recommendations for our analytics aspirant as well so thank you so much saiba for joining and guiding the aspirants throughout uh, so again thank you so much thank you sir thank you rakesh sir okay so